Hello, welcome to Classical Dressage Coach Reviews, where I will review some USDF level dressage tests and maybe a little bit of FEI level later. Today we're going to be going into the intro level tests A, B, and C. Tests A and B are the old prior to 2023 changes. Um, it's kind of hard to find some tests online that have the new one because 2023 was just this year and not a whole lot of people are brave enough to post their intro level tests online, but thank you for those brave few that have so I could use them as an example for educational purposes. Test C is the 2023 version, so I'm excited to see that. Now going into intro level, the tests, they are looking for good working trot, good medium walk, completely free, open and relaxed free walk with great ground cover, so you're tracking up, willing calm transitions, a good solid 20 meter circle, and a square halt. Now, this sounds easy, but it's also hard. So if you go down into the gritty details of the basics, a good working trot, you're getting the horse to go into a pace that is in between an ordinary trot or a stretchy trot and a collective trot. So the horse or the rider are not necessarily ready for a collective trot, but they have gotten the stretching trot down. The stretching trot's not going to show up in a test until the first level, but that is the very first thing that you have to get down because that is how they learn how to carry the rider in the first place. That's how I teach my horses and my students the first type of walk or the first type of trot or even canter is a forward down stretching trot canter and walk. The free walk is a stretching walk. So that's something that's easy for the horse and rider to do. They're stretching forward down. They're using that nuchal ligament to carry their rider and the rider is moving with them forward, not inhibiting their movement at all. A medium walk is somewhere in between an extended walk and a free walk. So a medium walk, you pick up your reins, they kind of shorten their gait a little bit in comparison to the free walk. They're on the bit, but they're marching forward with a good active pace. A willing comp transition means that they are used to transitioning, they're happy to, there's no pain involved, there's no resistance involved at all, and it's very smooth and a beautiful look. And pleasant to see. And then a good 20 meter circle is practice. So you can actually do a perfect circle on one of the ends of the arena or even in the middle of the arena and show that your horse is not leaning in or falling in on their shoulder. They are balanced and they can carry, which goes back to the stretching gates. That's how the stretching gates develop is you develop your circle by getting a stretching gate going on the straight line and then a stretching gate going on the circle. So in order to do a good intro level test, you need a lot of basics as a foundation to go. So all of these stretching things, a working trot is not just a trot that the horse comes up with, it is a trot that's on the bit, it's moving forward, they're ready to go. So let's get into the tests finally and see how people do. Now here's intro level test A, entering at the working trot. So this working trot is pretty pleasant. The horse is on the bit. I like it, although the horse is coming up and kind of dropping down a little bit. So I don't think this person has developed a good stretching trot or else the horse would have been on the bit 100% of the time. But this is okay because this is intro and for tests, I would look for kind of a more perfect test, but not everybody's looking for that and that's okay. So we got the working trot again. And here you see the horse coming above the bit. And like I said, if, if this person had a good stretching gait that developed the working trot in transitions between the forward down stretching trot and the working trot, they would, they would seem a little bit more together. The horse would be on the bit 100% of the time and they'd be using their back much better. Now we're going 
going down the diagonal at the working trot. And for the test, it is compulsory to do the rising trot. I don't prefer it, but it is easier on the horse's back if you have a more unbalanced rider. It's easier on the rider. They don't have to develop those core muscles to be able to follow this trot completely and 100%. So now here's the free walk. I like this free walk. They, she has dropped her reins almost completely. The horse, their throat latch is open. The horse is stretching down and they are marching forward at a good pace. She's collecting her reins. Now the horse does not want to do a good medium walk. I see this. So the horse is just kind of putting their head up, moving along at a normal whatever walk the horse will offer. Um, so developing the walk had not happened with this horse. Now here's the intro level test B not quite square at the halt. Now you can develop a square halt at this level, but you need to have developed good groundwork and a shoulder in on the circle via the groundwork. So here's our working trot. So again, the horse's head is up, the throat latch is open, but it doesn't look, it look like the horse is using their back effectively. The horse does move onto the bit a little bit, but I doubt this horse can do a good stretching trot. And here's the medium walk. I do like how this horse is getting back onto the bit for the medium walk, although he does pop his head up again kind of looking around, but that's a nice stretch for a free walk. So I do like this free walk. They seem to be doing really well with that. She's collecting her reins. So the horse knows the concept of stretching forward down, but I don't think they have practiced forward down at the trot at all or else this horse would be a bit more on the bit when she collects the reins and asks for a working trot. So I think what this instructor has had with this horse and this rider is just pick up the trot, whatever trot it is, it's a working trot. And that's, a lot, that's the attitude that many people have um, until you get into the classical dressage where the classical dressage, everything matters, every step matters. You reward the horse for even two or three steps of something good. So if I get the stretching trot for three steps and then I lose it, I will try to get them to pick it up again. And then they get two or three strides, I will reward them and let them, let them leave, go down to a, uh, a regular walk. But all in all, the, this pair seems very promising, but they do need to work on their stretching trot. Now here's the 2023 version intro level test C coming up and this horse is going to show a few problems that I'd like to point out. So you'll see through most of the tests this horse's head is behind the vertical which is not good. Um, this is an indication of the horse working with side reins and being pushed into a frame without teaching the horse how to carry themselves properly. So the horse will get behind the bit, they'll drop their forehand and they'll drop their shoulders and just kind of set their head. This will will have a future result in pain if the horse isn't already in pain. You'll see the horse kind of swishing their tail a little bit and protest to whatever's going on. But again, we have a medium walk that is getting behind the bit. The horse is fighting right now. 
so it's fighting contact. It doesn't like it. He's be she's being oh, it's, he's being pushed forward and it's just not a good look. So it's technically kind of right, but if I were the judge, I'd put points against the part where he's behind the vertical and just not happy. And again, these tests are focusing on the trot and the walk. So you gotta have a good walk. And if you don't have a good walk, you're not gonna have a great trot. So this working trot's okay, but the horse isn't really using his back properly because he's behind the bit. And it's a nice forward active trot. I would wanna see more collection because it is a pace in between a forward down trot and a collected trot, which is kind of lost on some people. It's like, well, I'll just ask for a trot, that's where I can try. Nope, no, 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 it's, it's more complicated than that. And there's that transition into the medium walk. And then we are going to go into the free walk. And just as indicated, she's not gonna allow the horse to stretch forward down completely. You see the reins are not completely down. He's fighting it. He wants his head and she's not letting him. So that is, I, I would not consider that a free walk because that's not completely free. because she collected her reins back to the medium walk and there wasn't much of a difference. So active forward, yes, free, no. And then with the halt, you can see he, he's not balanced because he's kind of jigging to the left. He's not balanced. He can't just stop. He can't just go from a, a, a walk to just halt. He's unbalanced. He's not happy. Here's another intro level test to see. It's a nice pair. And then there's that kind of unbalanced halt. So you see the horse want to halt. They are capable of a balanced halt, but it looks like the rider was just using her hands to ask for the halt instead of her whole body. And that's where she got the horse's head just popping up. Here's a pretty good working trot. She's on the bit, not too forward, stretching into the contact, a little bit behind the vertical, so a bit more collection is needed. Not pushing forward, but, put, but bringing up. So this rider needs to be a little bit more balanced and know how to ask for that small amount of collection that is necessary. Now we're going into the canter. That was not a happy transition. It's an okay working canter. It's now behind the vertical, so the horse was asked to go into the canter transition without being allowed to really collect. So that's where she gets the protest. And because the horse was not allowed to collect for the canter, they, she had a bit of a protest a few strides before she asked for the trot because the horse dropped, his for, dropped her forehand and probably caused a little bit of pain to shoot down their back. But this is a nice 20 meter circle. Decent working trot.
that's a better transition. This is probably the horse's stronger side. Now, if I was, if I were this rider's coach or instructor, I would want to have them practice better hand control because contact is not even throughout this entire test. And then here's that free walk. Now, I like this, the reins are loose, the horse is moving forward at the free walk and she has her head. The reins are collecting. A nice transition but like I said the horse needs to collect and lift a little bit more so that that her face is on the vertical or slightly above it instead of behind it so it looks like this horse would be able to do a good forward down at the trot if she was allowed to but this rider isn't necessarily either doesn't necessarily know how or is not allowing the horse to really collect properly. So there are those intro level USDF tests. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a little bit of something. Um, and thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying this with me. And I hope you have a wonderful day.